Guys, we have stepped it up. We are down here in Florida. I told you we had a banger coming. We bought two 379 short hood Peterbilts from our friends at Steps Transportation, Steps Towing here in Florida. They broke out their 70 ton rotator. We're gonna pick both these trucks up and set them right on the step deck of Brutus today. It's gonna be freaking sick. This truck, we're gonna pick it up, swing it all the way around and set it right over here on a trailer. Yeah, both of them, they're gonna be picked up midair. So we're gonna to get to see this 70 ton beast in action. And we're taking home two sweet 379 Peterbilts. We don't know what we're gonna do with them. We might fix them up and get them driving again, make one out of two, or, or we're gonna part them out. So let's see these guys start rigging all this stuff up and uh, get these things put up in the air. So this is a 70 ton truck, Peterbilt of course. It's got a Jerdan bed on it. I guess that talks about the doors there, but this thing is a beast, dude. Twin steer axle, it's got a lift axle on the front. This fella is out of their Orlando location. Look at all the remotes and stuff in there. Dang. This thing's next level. Look at the stinger on the back of this beast, dude. Jeez. Look up Jeez. in there, Ryan. Look at them rear axles. Them are like 100,000 pound axles. I'm just kidding. They are just huge though. Golly. Oh, here right here is the underlift rating right here. Dude, retracted, this thing will pick up 56,000 pounds. Jeez. So like right there where it's sucked all the way in, 56,000 pounds, that's crazy. Oh my, dude, look at the cylinder in there. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this thing is massive. That's crazy, isn't it? So looks like they've got, they're rigging everything up right there. Look at all these remotes, Ryan. We thought our truck had a lot. Jeez. So guys, this is Jeremy right here. He reached out to me through email because he knew I was looking to get into doing some salvage stuff with the new business, FCR Salvage. And you've probably seen we got the rotator, so I'm sure you're cringing a little bit seeing us running that thing around. <laughs> a, a little a little is an understatement, but you yeah. know what? Everybody's got to start somewhere. Yeah. You know, and um, education, you know, working, you know, doing things, that's that's how you're gonna pick it up. I mean, yeah. And, and talking to the old guys. Yeah, that's so that's why I want to try to build a relationship with you guys, yeah. Steps and other large towing company so we can get out and get some experience and just see what's going on and attend some school. You said one of the fellows here teaches a school? Absolutely, Bo, he's our, uh, our heavy supervisor and he also has his own training program, um, a training school, uh, which you can talk to him about that yeah, some yeah. more, but um, he's very good. He came to work for us a couple years ago, great addition. Uh, he's made a difference with our guys. Yeah. Um, brought a, 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 a sense of personal, uh, you know, professionalism that we were lacking a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so, uh, and he knows his stuff. I mean, the guy, he's an encyclopedia when it comes to this stuff. So. Cool. So it looks like we need to look into going to Bose Tow Academy. So that's exciting. Yeah. And thanks for bringing the rotator out here. I know you didn't have to do that, but it's we a didn't. good example. We didn't, but you know, it's a great chance to showcase what we can do. Yeah. Uh, show you what you can do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you already needs to exercise this truck every once in a while, too. So This is a big boy. Yes, it is. Now, what year? Do you know what year it is? It's a pretty new truck, ain't it? Yeah, it's about three years old, maybe. Okay. Yeah. It, this thing's the real deal, guys. Well, they're almost done rigging it. You got Bo, and what was the driver's name again? His name is Yo Eddie. Yo Eddie, okay. Yo, I remember yeah. that. Yo and Eddie. Okay. <laughs> so they're about to get this thing picked up. You know, like I said, we're gonna swing it around and set it on our step deck, but let's go jump in and see how they're rigging things up.
Just get under and he'll get it square on the trail. Well guys, we're blocking traffic out here, loading up some heavy duty stuff, but what we're gonna have to do is hang that rear drive axle over the front of the trailer to get both of these trucks to fit. So we're gonna do is get this thing hung over the front. There's so much action here. Ryan's like shaking the whole time. Why are you shaking, dude? This is sick though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to do stuff like this. Like, this just makes me more pumped up to learn and learn how to do recoveries. And look at the car. The cars that are in the road. They're like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Twenty thousand pounds. This is definitely. So this truck's got forty-six k rears in it too. This is probably a heavy. It's definitely a heavy-duty built truck, no doubt. Both have cat engines in them. I'm so excited to dig into them. This might be a revival right here. We take two, make one, and sell the parts off of one. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be a sweet project, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Sick. All right, guys, we're gonna throw some chains on this thing so that it ain't moving. We're gonna get out of traffic's way. Then we're gonna load the second truck on here. We gotta get this thing secure first. All right, guys, so with the first truck being loaded, we've got it chained down. We let some traffic go through. We're not going to block traffic anymore loading this truck up, so we can kind of take a little bit more time doing it. But we got to sneeze, dude. This Florida pollen's getting to me. Nope, it's gone. So, we're going to get this one loaded up. We got this guy back here all completely chained down. There's a fifth wheel kind of loose up there. 
We need to get the fifth wheel secured and close the hood and kind of secure the rest of the truck. But for now, we just want to get these things loaded up so this rotator can get out of here and get back to making money. And then there's some other stuff here we're going to look at on the steps yard. This is one of their smaller yards here on trucks that they've got for sale and parts and pieces. So guys, we might be coming back to Florida a lot more often. It's crazy. We moved out of here and now we're back here like once a week. It's crazy. All right, guys, so we've got this truck, obviously, picked way up in the air. About to set this thing down. It's crazy what you can do with a tool like this, ain't it? Let's go look at this crane work. Come on. Crane. It's like a tater, a rotator. All I'm going to do is pause here. I'll get him to get straight, and I can push out and boom down. Once I boom down, it, it, it actually pushes the unit out. We made it. And that's it. So now all I all I have to do now is just boom down. If I just boom down, if I boom this low down, it, it'll come over. I'll boom down and I'll go out with it. I'll go out and I'll come down. It's close. They're gonna be like nose to nose, ain't they? Yeah. <laughs> you in the night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll set it right where you want to set it at. Put it as close to that truck as possible. All right, you want to go a little bit close to that? Yeah, bring them on in there. Barely. No pressure. You say no pressure? Yeah. They say pressure bust pipes is what they say. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. Slow and steady. I'm never in a race. Just make them kiss a little bit. I'll go push the back around a little bit. They say pressure bust pipes is what they say. I just apply pressure, that's all. That's all you got, bud. Yeah. <laughs> At the fingertips, right? At the fingertips. So. I mean, that's close. Right there's about money, I think. Hey, push that, that front end's good for you on the front end? Okay. There you go, right there. Uh oh. Oh no, that that'll hold it though. I think that back wheel will hold it. We got enough space up here. It should be okay. Has this got pancake brakes on or what? Or got set real brakes? Oh, there ain't no weight back there anymore. Oh, they got either. real brakes on it, so that's good. They ain't gonna yeah, go the brakes are set. Yeah, hang on. 
Yeah. Yeah. Are right, they touching? Yeah. yeah. Might do put a wood block on on the front, on tire. The front tire. The thing yeah. is, I can't go back anymore because if I come up any, I gotta go back a little bit because now it will keep that from flipping up. You see? I gotta make sure that back wheel stays on that. The lever so doesn't flip. If you go back like two inches, will be good. Two inches? Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Makes the world difference. Oh, you know what? Um, you might be okay, right? It, it would be okay if we folded the hood down. Yeah, that's all true the way. too. Oh, she got to get the straps. Yeah, we got to get the straps out. Yeah, that's true. If that's down the hood, now it'll slide back through the hood. So well, you right do? now you're just holding, you're holding pressure on the front right Only now. On right? the front, that's it. Yeah. I still don't let it come forward a little bit more. Can you can you pull up on the front to pull the truck backwards some, and oh, we'll block it. Two small pieces of wood we can put on the front tire. There you go, keep going. So right now guys are hoods are touching. We don't want to damage these grills anymore. So we're gonna pull it back a little bit, put some blocks of wood in front of these tires, keep it from rolling forward. Is that good enough for you? It ain't on there. Yeah, that might be good enough where we can get the straps out and block it. Yeah, she's kissing it. My, these trucks are in really good shape, man, for how old they are. There's one. She's down. She's all the way down. I have nothing on it. There's a gap in between there. I know it is the two emblems up there. Yeah, that might be our only problem is getting the straps out. Hey, let's see if it'll pull through. Oh, Eddie, yeah. see, see if your strap will pull through. Let's see if it pull through. Yeah, let, let, let pressure off of it. Nothing's on it. Yeah, okay. It's loose. That shit don't sit yeah. down, which will give you a little bit more. That'll give you about two more inches. And we'll just pull chain, pull it backwards some. So back man, here, man, that is perfect. Yeah, we may need to find something to cut step this style, off with. baby, that's how we do it at steps. Oh, you can take care of that. Yeah, well, grab an impact and unbolt that. Get it out of here. Step style, isn't it, Jeremy? It is. We got some uh, overlinked banners. We'll put on the back. We'll be good to go. So what we're gonna need to do now is grab some chains out of here. And we're gonna to wanna to pull the back, pull the front backwards first before we pull the front because we wanna get as much pressure off the front of the truck and go from there. Hey guys, we found Bo here at Stepstone. Someone mentioned you in the comments that you are the man with the plan and know how to teach us how to run a rotator. That's what I do. Uh, if you ever want some classes, Towing Recovery Academy will come out and teach you how to operate the unit that you just brought, 1150? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome unit. Yeah, we've been messing with it around the yard. We uh, have a wrecker business, uh, not a wrecker business, but a collision facility. So we got a bunch of wrecked uh, semi trucks we've been doing stuff with, picking them up and stuff, just trying to learn the controls. But we definitely need to attend some school. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely come out. That's what we do. We got, I teach the uh, fundamentals, how to actually run the truck and understand the scale and teach you structural damage and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's basic fundamentals that it's all you need. You start from the bottom and you'll be at the top in no time. Work our way to the top. So, well, I appreciate you helping us load everything up. We're gonna get everything strapped down. This is all awesome. Right. We found them, guys. <laughs> Literally so many people commented so we needed to find you and get with you about getting some learning. All right, that's it. So, that's Torn exciting. Recovery Academy. Give me a call, you get a chance. 571-833-8884. There we go. Well, I guess we'll be one of the people calling you. <laughs> cool, yeah, I'll man. be looking forward to it. Appreciate it. it. Thanks. All right. All right, guys. We got you, Eddie. He's putting the rotator away. This thing's a beast. So while he's operating the hand controls there, you can see over here, like we talked about on our rotator yesterday, and you'll see all these levers start clicking and moving. But I think his has, I think 
we have that same style remote, we might be able to move them just a little bit instead of like all the way, like how we were running the stinger. I was like jumping really bad and stuff. It's crazy. Look at all the, tells you like different weights where you can be at. I think that's operating radius and feet, capacity in pounds, thousands, so 14.4 thousand pounds. 14,400. Oh. So here's my steps cards and these are my business cards. Awesome. Heck yeah, man. You might get a lot of people calling if you ain't careful. Hey, I'll take those phone calls too, man. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you. Step stop night, man. Listen, step tone is hiring, so you you guys want to run out of these 50-ton Jordans and late model Millers, give us a call. We're looking for drivers. Make All right. Money. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. Shoot, we might have to come down here and work for them for a month to get some learning. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll let you run all the rigging, though. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. So unlike our truck, this truck has five winches on it. It's got one in the center up there, two on the main boom that go down to the base, and then two on the boom itself. And everything's color coded too. So that's pretty crazy looking how when you're on his remote, you can see like here on the remotes where you got a red, a blue and green, which is the main ones you've seen up there and then the auxiliary winches and the drag winch, which is what's on the back. <coughs> so much stuff in here, man. This is a Jerdan. I believe our truck's got a Miller bed on it. These are the big boy tires too. 315, 80, 22 fives. Big old mud tires. So guys, they use a forklift to move a lot of this stuff around the yard and as you can see, stuff gets broke when a truck's been sitting for a while and they don't use it. So we're going to uh, unbolt this here system. There you go. Perfect, thank you. size banner and hang it on the back of this boy. It's been a strap and everything down. Well guys, we've successfully got both trucks on the trailer. They're right at like 13.6, 13.7-ish. Hanging over the front, hanging over the back just a little bit. They're kissing in the center. This was fun, dude. I had, oh, I know, we'll, we'll get them put on here in a second. We gotta go look at some other trucks and some other parts they have for sale here. This is fun. We haven't done a video like this in forever. I hear sweating our butts off. That was cool seeing them get picked up, loaded up, move. So this truck right here has got a six in or a 3406E 5EK engine and it runs 10 speed, 40K rears in it. Or no, I'm sorry, 46K locking rears. <laughs> we need those for the pulling truck, but we're selling these things. Um, this one's got 40K rears in it, 6NZ that runs with a 10 speed in it also do pristine top of the line stuff here so good sleepers no rust frames florida trucks man i'm so excited to get these things back to the shop he's like he's knocking the block of wood out hit it hit it there you go all right let's go walk around here and see what else they got for sale 